Okay, on this video I'm going to show you how you can fix a lamp that's not working due to a surface mount SCR not working on a, you know, all tech uh, lamp driver board, or I'm sure there's other makes out there. But on this all tech board that I got, it turns out that I was suspecting one of these transistors. I mean, don't call them transistors because they're silicon controlled rectifiers, but I may call it a transistor anyway. Anyway, I thought for sure that one of these was bad because I did all the other tests. So this is what I have learned and thought that I would show in case it is handy for anyone else having a similar issue. Most people like myself would think, oh, I've got something bad on my new Alltech board and it's a service mount component, so I'll have to send it back to Alltech, but that costs money and also time. So I'm going to put the machine into switch test. Okay. Here we go. We're in switch test. Activate a switch. It works, but this is a, a good place to see all the lamps, whether they're working or not. I mean, I'm going to, so what I've learned is that uh, in order to test these SCRs, um, you connect your one alligator clip to ground, and then you hit, you can just hit the top tab like of Q4 here. Let's see. I'm hitting the top tab of Q4. Okay. And I'm going to pan over here and you'll see that my special light's turning on. So I believe you can also do that with the uh, middle leg, but I'm not going to do that because I'm probably going to short something out if I try that. So if you're sure that your socket and bulb are good, and that your connector, I repinned initially the wire that I thought was suspect and it still didn't solve the problem. So sure enough, when I did this to the suspect bulb, it illuminated. So then I knew that uh, that SCR was bad. So uh, the next cool thing is that Alltech actually has through hole components sorry, through hole option. So you can see under Q4 that there are three little solder points right there. That is for your standard through hole 2N5060 SCR. So you can actually cut off the surface mount component and install your SCR. So I have done that, and I initially started out with my big solder sucker and solder station, and uh, I was able to clip off the old component. Here it is, tiny little guy, just using this guy. There's no issue, um, but uh, I could only really get two of the three holes cleared, so... I busted out the old hacko for the first time in a while and boom, worked like a charm on the third hole. So I think I'm just going to keep this out and use it way more often because it is amazing. Um, that is the, what, hacko 808? No, FR300. 808, I think, was the old version. Um, so yeah, that is handy to have. So if you don't have that, you might have a little bit of difficulty, but uh, it's still possible. So here is the finished product. One moment. All right, just saying goodbye to a friend there. Um, okay, so here is the old handiwork. Check this out. So you can see Q57 I clipped off and then I installed the 2N5060 right below it. I wasn't sure like about orientation, cathode, anode, or anything like that. So I started looking it up, but I also like zoomed in on the board. And you, if you look closely, you can actually see the shape of the transistor. 
right about there where the three holes are for it, you can see that it's telling you that's the way it's supposed to be oriented with the arch up. So I didn't bother looking at data sheets anymore. I just said, oh, thank you, Alltech Dave, for putting that on the board. And um, so here's some technical talk. The anode, I believe, is ground. So the anode for, let me get my, uh, my pointer nail. Where'd my pointer nail go? Okay, so this is all really unnecessary to know, but I'll share it anyway. Anode is ground. That top pin is anode and the middle pin is anode. That's why when you ground the transistor to try and light up your bulb, that's what works, those two. But the anode on the 2N5060 is the, uh, I believe, the right leg? Yeah, the right leg. So, if you look closely, you can see the traces um, are a little bit, uh, the right leg here actually goes to the middle down there. This, this pointer nail is not doing a very good job, but the right leg, if you follow the trace, it goes to the middle. And this right through hole here actually comes up and around and goes to uh, the the middle here. So anyway, because at first I thought, oh, the anodes are in different spots. Do I need to like crisscross the legs? But no, David Altec already thought of that and crisses, crosses the traces instead. So basically cut off your surface mount component install your 2N5060 as such in that orientation and here's the final result it was my number 36 uh, light that was not working and of course you know use your schematics or is it J3 pin 1 36k bonus takes you all the way to Q57 and then we will hit the lamp test and boom, it is working. So that's a first for me. Uh, pretty happy about the results. Took me a lot longer than it should have because really should have just started with the hacko. But hey, if that's handy for anyone else, then uh, that's why I'm sharing. Uh, hopefully it is. But yeah, so surface mount repair. What do you know? Shenanigander style. Thanks for watching.